Why hello everyone, and welcome to my sample series, where I showcase games for either the PlayStation 4 Pro or the Xbox One X running in either 4K and or HDR. Today, I'm showcasing a little bit of the Outer Worlds on the Xbox One X. This is a game that I played through last year. I got it via Game Pass and it's still there if you're interested in the style of game. It is a uh, action RPG, uh, very much in the style of a Fallout game, except it's set in space, as you can see. I'm going to get signed in here. I'm going to pick up, I guess we're... I'm just going to showcase this game a little bit. Now, I think I, ac I accidentally... Um, I may have just signed into the last boss fight of this game, which is not what I meant to do. But we'll see. Actually, I think the last time I had a checkpoint in this game was when I did a stream for this on my 2019 Game of the Year stream. We'll find out. One thing this game has that's kind of annoying, rather lengthy loading times and a lot of them. Okay, here we are. Okay, this is good. I am in Byzantium, one of the planets in this game. There are a handful of planets, and I'll hope to get to a few of the more interesting-looking ones whilst I'm doing this capture here. I am capturing this in 4K at 30 frames a second. As you can see, this is a first-person shooter-style RPG. Let's see here. It's got a pretty strong look to it. A pretty strong visual aesthetic. Here's my ship, the Unreliable. Hopefully at some point I'll get to show that off. And I will head over to the map and do a little bit of fast traveling to speed up the process a little bit. Prosperity Plaza. Got these very uh, deliberately retro-looking um, fake ad advertisements, advertisements on the loading screens from all these different corporations that are within the game. This right here is the center of the capital city of this of this solar system called Helcyon, and this is a model, a mechanical model of what that system looks like. I believe. Yep. Add drones there. I believe this game uses a dynamic resolution, so it doesn't maintain a locked 4K 21 or 3840 by 2160p resolution. But that's okay. For the most part, I've never really noticed any drop. I, I just really like this model for some reason. I don't know if you could build something like this in real life, but it looks like you could. Alright. This, uh, this city always reminded, reminded me of the Imperial City from... Uh, what was it? The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. It's circular design. These are my two companions here. They're in their armor, so you can't tell what they look like. Well, I think I got both of them from the same planet. No, I got one from Edgewater and the other from Monarch. Byzantium Estates. This is where the rich people live. We're going to spend a few minutes in, on each planet. Showcase the planets I think have an interesting look to them. One thing this game has does really well is its skyboxes. This one doesn't really show it off all that well, but in a few minutes I'll go to one that does.
out to brunch, it looks like it says. You have a rather exotic presence. A new anti-Cleo facial mask, perhaps, or experimental pheromones? Wealthy citizen. Alright. And how about if I, um, head back to the ship here? And before I head off to another planet, I will show you, um, the inside of my ship. Which kind of has a Firefly Serenity look to it. The way it's designed. I don't know. Maybe that's just me reading too much into it, I guess. But it kind of reminds me of that anyway. It is a transport ship. Much like Serenity. Here we go. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. The unreliable. Twenty-three twenty-five. Here's the bridge. Or is it the cockpit? Here's the uh computer AI Ada ADA. As her we set our destination. Here's the planet that we're over right now. We have our crew members here. You're anticipating me. You... Of course I'm anticipating it. What if I shoot a friend on accident? That's on account of your stance. You want to lean into it. Embrace it. Work with it. You're in control of your car body, not the gun. Don't let a hunk of metal jerk you around. You've been around powerful machinery all your life. And you're always in control, right? I guess that's kind of like when the filler's shooting 600 cans of near molten sell tuna down the conveyor while I'm trying to tune a belt. Here, stand like me, just so. Hip square, lean forward a little. This equipment, you're just an engineer using it. Ah! Okay, we'll try again later. You'll get it. A little problem. character interaction there. Alright. Show you around the rest of the ship, I guess. We go up here. Sort of. The, here's my quarters. We have the best view in the house, I guess. Right above the bridge. <clears throat> Looks like Chinese checkers or something. Got some stuff I've collected. This is near the end of the game, by the way, though I'm not planning on doing any spoilery type content, although you might get some stuff out of context, like this stuff here. A lot of context. I don't think any of this is going to mean much. Let's go up here. We have the... This is where Sam stays. He's the cleaning robot. Got crew quarters. There is room for six companions, including the robot, but I only have three. Because, uh, unfortunately, I killed, had to kill one of them. And um, the other two I just never found. I guess I sort of had a very um, basic, uninteresting playthrough of this game. But I did stream all of it. There's a separate playlist for the Outer Worlds daily long play stream on my channel. You can watch the entirety of my playthrough of this game if you so desire. This is the crew eating quarters. This is probably the part of this ship that reminds me the most of Serenity from Firefly. A table in the middle with kitchenery stuff set up. I don't know. That, that's the vibe that I got from it. See the bathroom in 4K. 
Yeah, that's right. That's the kind of stuff I got this expensive TV, expensive game system, and expensive capture card for, is showing off the bathroom. Here's the engine room. This is where Kaylee would be if this were actually Firefly, but sadly it is not. So, sadly, no Kaylee, but whatever. And this is the cargo hold. I'm not even going to bother climbing the ladder. It's the workbench where you can fiddle around with your weaponry and armor. Alright. Enough with the ship. Let's head on to another interesting looking planet. Let's see here. Monarch. That's one I like. We're now in orbit of a stellar bay, Captain. Now look at that. That basically looks like Jupiter to me. But that's not the planet we're going to be landing on. So yeah, this was actually, I actually found this to be a pretty enjoyable game. Granted, I have no uh, experience playing any of the Fallout games. Uh, this game was developed by Obsidian, the same people who made um, Fallout New Vegas. And one of the reasons, the big reason why this game is available on Game Pass is because Microsoft uh, bought Obsidian. Now, they didn't stop it from coming out on other systems, but it is... It became available on Game Pass the game the day it came out, which is how I got it. Here we are, Stellar Bay. Another city within Halcyon. And take a look. If you ever wondered what it'd look like if Earth were orbiting around um, Jupiter, what the sky would look like, it'd look something like this. I imagine it would look something like this anyway. Look at that. We get a nice close-up view of that. I don't know, that, that kind of stuff impresses me. Or maybe I'm just easily impressed by it, I don't know. Yeah, ignoring the space stuff, as hard as that is, this game definitely has a sort of a piece together wreckage look that is common amongst the Fallout games. Except this is not set in a post-apocalyptic environment. This is set in a far-off solar system from far away from Earth, where everything is just sort of built using look parts of ships, I guess. An idea of size of this environment and some of the detail. Yeah, I already helped these guys. I can talk to this guy, I guess. I must thank you for your excellent recommendation regarding Zora. She's most capable. Anyway, what can I do for you? I like this guy. Quite well. As a matter of fact, Zora is proving most capable. You should see the way she pounds the table and gets straight to the point. It makes for some rather exhilarating meetings. I know I had my concerns initially, but your instincts were right. Zora and her compatriots have become valuable and productive members of our community. I guess so there will be the some spoilers places, here, I guess. Real growth prospects to look forward to. What can I do for you? Huh? I guess that's um potentially spoilery stuff. Oh well. Got a holographic projection of the the logo of this planet, I guess. Sort of a office-y type area. Except you got a box of cereals here. 
purple berry flavored power nuggets. I don't know, that cereal actually looks pretty good to me. Not the kind of stuff I eat, because I eat boring bran flakes and such, but my vain attempt to try to eat healthy, which has nothing to do with this game. Hello, resident. Are you a resident? Agnes seems quiet lately. That's not like her at all. Alright. Still haven't decided if I want to do one or two videos of this game. Uh, let's um, let's head outside the city and maybe get into a little bit of combat. It has been a while since I've done one of these 4K HDR uploads, mostly due to time and sort of lack of energy and other stuff going on. But I'm going to get back into doing this every week. I still have a whole lot of games I want to cover, and I have a list and I'm slowly building out of some of those games. So yeah, hopefully every Friday-ish, I'll be able to post one or two more of these videos. And it's not going to be the same game, it's going to be a different one. And right now, I'm doing the last game that I actually finished. Here we are, outside the city. Perhaps you get a, oops, sorry, perhaps you get a better view of the planet there. Let's try to get into some combat here. Well yeah, I've been playing through Sekiro Shadows Die twice, and when I finish that game, I'll definitely post some 4K HDR footage of that as well. So I think that game has a pretty good visual aesthetic to it. Two, definitely something worth capturing. Okay, I think the last time I um, played this game, I went through here and cleared out all the enemies. And I don't think they respawned immediately. But that's alright. Show off some more of this game. Some interesting looking tree like structures. So I assume they're trees. Hey, look, enemies. Alright. Look at that. It's like a combination of a mushroom and a honeycomb. And this game is giving off sort of a, this plan is giving off kind of a Morrowind look to it. All right. Let's see. It's time slow down mechanic, which is this game's replacement for bats, I guess. Alright, we're, we're pretty overpowered for this area, so I'm not surprised it didn't last very long. By the way, I assume that if you have watched any of my other recent videos that um, you know that there's a limitation to how long these videos of mine can be. Uh, roughly a half an hour. Otherwise, they will never fully uh, resolve once uploaded to their 4K uh, or HDR resolution and setting. For some reason, YouTube stopped letting that happen, and I don't know why. I used to be able to post two-hour videos of this quality, but now, for some reason, I can only do half-hour at most per video. And it's a limitation I learned to live with, but I wish it didn't exist. Whatever. We got some insects here. I'm going to show off some uh, companion abilities. There's one, and here's the other. Yes, I was on fire during that. Oh. Alright. 
watch this big bug glitch out, even though it is, in fact, dead. Holographic directional signs. So I don't really have all that much to say, it's just, I'm just enjoying the view here. I'm gonna assume you don't want to go down there, it's an awful long way to fall. Alright. Sorry, I keep forgetting that it's back to go to the map. I head back to the um to the ship. Try to get another planet in before the end of this video. The problem is, is that there's only so much you can really gleam from a half an hour video like this, even if I do multiple of ones. It's like this is a game you really have to sink some time into to really get anything out of. Fortunately, this game didn't actually, doesn't actually take all that long to complete. A basic playthrough should take about 20, maybe 25 hours. Which, considering the, the type of game this is and the pedigree in which it comes from, is actually really Hello, short. Captain. Your return time is within 14% of the expected value. Yep, she likes doing clips like that. Believe it or not, that's actually tame. Compared to some of the racier stuff she is, she says. All right, let's go to um the Groundbreaker. This is a giant ship in space that basically acts like a mall. Believe the it or not. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. I'll show off a little bit of the, sh the inside of the ship here. And then I think I'll just call it, actually. I think one video should be enough for this. But hey, you know what? If you want to see more of this game in 4K, uh, leave a comment below. And I will, in fact, do another video of this in the future. I can show off perhaps the start of the game if you're in, if you are interested in that. Right, here it is. Obviously, it's a very large ship. Must be if our ship can fit in it. Customs. Not that they ever do anything. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention at the outset of this video, um, if this video is not showing up in 4K, uh, quite yet, uh, it takes like about a day or so to fully process, so it's available at that resolution, so if it's not showing up yet after this video has been uploaded, give it about a day or so and it should get there. I told myself I was going to say that at the outset, and I forgot. As you can see, it's like Times Square in here. Hey, look, pancakes. Now with near maple flavor. Ah. Now requires no mixing. 
Seriously, don't make that. Okay. You can see the color separate the RGB color separation there. That's kind of interesting. That's kind of neat. Neat little touch. Sprat worse. These are basically rats turned into sausages. Ike's Armory. I didn't ever spend too much time buying stuff uh, from shops. I usually only ever sold things. A diner. talking something about being in space gives me the creeps they finally fixed the damn radiators now if they could do something about the smell who would i piss off to get assigned here unless you have business with the board move along mm -hmm. spacer's choice Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. Don't know how you managed to get Zora and Sanjar in the same room. Alright. There she is, not making a scene, whoever she is, I guess. Bella Shells. Lost Hope, I think that's a bar. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed? Talk to your local manager about applying for military training and lend your life to protecting our wonderful brands and products. Military service does not guarantee full employment rights, tax breaks, military discounted health benefits, military burial, participation medal training, or weapons. Okay. This has been Halcyon News, your only source for news in the Halcyon Commons. Hey, look. Another bathroom. I think she's vomiting, so let's just leave her alone. The kitchen. She kind of looked like deep fryers to me, but... Actually, they look like coin-operated washer and dryers. That's beside the point steal something if we want to but I don't want to so yeah we're coming up on about a half an hour and I think I'm gonna call it here thank you so much for watching I appreciate when people take time out of their day to watch my streams and my videos uh, just as a quick reminder I do a daily long play stream just about every day 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and as of the time of this recording I am playing through secure shadows die twice on the Xbox one I do a retro stream on Monday night at 8 p.m., a modern stream on Wednesday night at 11 p.m., both of those Eastern Standard Times, and I do 4K and or HDR uploads on Friday. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take it easy.